Visual Studio Code just introduced a brand new awesome feature when using GitHub Copilot, which is a way of bringing your own models, custom models that you can define that GitHub Copilot can use. VS Code already ships a bunch of awesome models like Cloud Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and more. But now there's a list of providers that you can select from like Anthropic, Azure AI, OpenAI, and more. And you can even run them locally on your machine with Olama, for example. So what I want to show you today is how to get started with VS Code Insider. Anyone can grab the Insider Edition, run it side by side, Normal Edition. I'm going to show you how to customize these models and run one locally on your machine with Olama. So let's do it. So here I'm inside of VS code. Now I'm on the insider build and you can run this of course, side by side, your normal visual studio code. A lot of new features get dropped there first. Now what's cool here is that you can configure your own models now. So I have GitHub copilot chat open and you can see that we're in the unified view of ask edit agent. And now you'll see that there's this manage models. When you tap on the model, of course, there's tons of models available, but let me go ahead and say manage models. And what you will see here is that we have all the providers available. So you have things like Gemini and Azure Anthropic, open AI, uh, Olam and open router. So if you do Anthropic, for example, you have a key that goes in there. If you were, for example, to go in and select uh, Azure, you'd have a deployment URL and then an API key on top of it, right? And that's really nice because then for your custom deployments, you can kind of use whatever you want. But I also have Olama here. So for example, on my local machine here, I'm running uh, Code Gemma. And what I can do is just go into that manage model, select Olama, and it's going to find all of the different models that are on my machine. So I have Gemma 3, and then I also have Code Gemma here. So let me go ahead and tap on that, hit OK. And now that it's been registered in my model picker, there it is, Code Gemma latest. So now I could add some context here. So I'm going to say the code base. I could say, tell me what this code base is doing and give me a brief overview. So now this is going to search the entire code base, pass that into Code Gemma here, and then give me a overview back. And again, this is all sort of happening on my local machine, which is pretty cool. Uh, here, or of course, if you're using your own model and you can do whatever you want. So here, this has a back end API, a front end API, and then some different core technologies that it's using like entity framework and Redis and Azure deployments as well. So it has like this entire overview of everything that it gives me, which is nice. So let's say now I go into my products and I have this loading here. So now what I could do is like highlight this as my little loading for my products. I'm going to hit command I, and I get the chat pop up. I could of course ask it in the chat window. But here I can go in and I can say, oh, Code Gemma. I can say, what would this look like using Bootstrap to show a progress spinner centered? Boop. And now this should go ahead and send that off and then give me that in line. So let's accept that. And now what I can do is come back and let's run my application. There we go. And this should go ahead and spin up my .NET Aspire dashboard. And hopefully we get a little progress spinner inside of here and get this back. So let's see, there we go. There's my store. I have all my containers starting up products. And then again, a little progress spinner, just like that. All right, there you have it. It is really just that easy to do custom models with VS Code and GitHub Copilot. What do you think? Are you already defining your custom models and setting them up? Are you already running stuff locally on your machine in Old Llama? Maybe you have custom models in Azure AI Foundry, for example. Let me know how you're going to be using this functionality when you're building applications with VS Code and GitHub Copilot. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, jam that subscribe button, do all the things like ring that notification bell so you get notified every time I put out a video right here on my YouTube. All right, that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, thanks for watching.